remember PAC was set up in 1970s uh, by a group of uh, youth uh, under the Changi uh, CC. It was started where, you know, in Singapore, you do not have a lot of canoeing activities around. Uh, you can see people doing sampang uh, uh, paddling and uh, there was demand for it. And that's why PAC was set up. In the 70s, most participants are youth around 19 to 20. Uh, we rarely have people who are 50, 60 years old, but in today's context, I think we have a lot of people who are 50, 60, as young as 12 years old. In 1975, uh, uh, we were given eight double canoes uh, from PHL clubs. Uh, and from there, that's where how we started. We did for, uh, form out the, these Dragon Boat teams and the Phoenix teams. Other than that, we started out windsurfing. Uh, we did windsurf round the island twice, then Dragon Boat round the island once. In 1977, four of our Campus CC youth group members went to Pongo Point Canoe Club to take up the novice course over there. They come back, then they find that in the north area that we should also start a club. We are an island, we are surrounded by water and it's only natural that we look to the sea to promote sea sport as, as an activity. And as the sports develop, we we felt that uh, it was time to build more sea sports centre and that's where we built the Kalang Sea Sports Centre, the East Coast Sea Sports Centre here and also uh, the Pasiris Sea Sports Centre. The challenge that we face today is to get young people uh, out of their sedentary lifestyle into uh, sports. And I think sea sports is good in the sense that it helps not just to develop a person physically but also to help them to develop their leadership skills, especially in the, in the area of sea sport, you need to move around uh, as a team. I think in 2005, when PUB decided, I think to open out, I think the reservoir for the uh, water sport activity, PA immediately jump and leverage on the opportunity. That's why we set out the first uh, paddles in, I think, in Budok Reservoir. But at that time, I think PA have two sections. One is Sea Sport Club uh, section, and the other one is Adventure Session. So we, when we explore, we say, uh, perhaps I think we should govern all these two important section I think in the PA to look at some activity which people can explore into the adventure and uh, uh, water sport. That's why I think we, we merged the adventure club and the sea sport club together we call it water venture. Well as uh, Singapore becomes a more affluent society, Singaporeans would have a higher expectation and greater aspirations. I think to meet these needs in our society, uh, Water Venture is looking at designing more innovative and more meaningful programs. So what we have done is we have built Passion Wave and Marina Bay. This is PA's first integrated community lifestyle and water sports hub you know, to meet these emerging needs of our community. We have designed more meaningful and innovative programs. We have reached out to our community. We have also shifted from only providing sea sports and adventure programs to educating Singaporeans on environmental and marine conservation. One example of a course is the Project Blue Wave, which we teach participants about the need to take care of environment and how to protect it when they embark on the program. <music> <music>